guys so welcome to ko tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the texturing of this particular office interior over here so let's continue it so few things are left out then we'll start up with the lighting part so i'll just go over here and i'll just create one ceiling on the top over here i'll just slightly shuffle it up in this way let's go into the material editor and let's take a v-ray material and let's just assign any color to it now again select this the wheel section let's select this wheels over here press control and click And let's go into the material editor let's take a v-ray material and I'll again give it a metal over here I can just slightly increase the metalness of it so I'll just name it as wheels over here again I'll I'll select this and this let's again go into the material editor and let's just assign <coughs> the wood texture let's give a uvw map set it as a box again select this let's give uvw map set it as a box I can do over here is like and again let's slightly adjust it let's convert to poly over here so once it is done I can just select this and let's delete this so select this whole thing in the air slightly just and let's press shift and drag and I'll make a copy of it so I'll just save the file once again let's select this part let's select this this let's again go into this let's take a v-ray material i'll take a white color 
and let's give a bit of reflection and I'll slightly increase this IOR and I'll reduce its glossiness over here and let's give a bit of roughness as well and you can just save the file once and let's render and see how it's looking like if you want you can still reduce it so again I'll go into this and now let's render it again it looks better now let's select this go into the material editor and I'll just take one color and I'll just assign it select this and I can assign any kind of a copper kind of a material to it so let's select this and let's again duplicate it I'll drag it over here so slightly just shuffle this up in this way and let's drag it a bit down and push it inside all right <coughs> so select this I'll ungroup it let's take a V-ray material and let's give one color to it all right so once it is done now we can just set up one camera if needed over here we can just take uh, set up one camera so let's go into rendering go into render setup can just press shift and F and we can this looks better press control C so we can just uh, place a camera over here <coughs> now let's go into this let's go into the lights let's take a uh, photometric light and I'll take a target light over here so let's add a photometric light right from this axis push it down So select this light, drag it down, let's go into this and you can assign some template and let's go into this ray trace shadow and make it as uniform diffuse and activate the target, activate this high quality 
and we do have some uh, presets over here if needed I can just use this presets or else I can just go into this and I can just take uh, the Kelvin and increase this multiplier of this particular light and let's render it once over here so it's illuminating a lot so what I'll do is I'll go into rendering go into render setup and I'll just off the GI over here and now render this so we can slightly uh, reduce the multiplier and render it go into the environment and make it as black and now let's render it now this is going to show you so I can slightly increase the multiplier of light yeah slowly it's in uh, you know the intensity is visible save this file once again I'll increase it okay and we do have uh, this stuff if you want to push it more towards yellowish and let's render it again now render setup and let's uh, if you want you can add the GI a GI will it's going to you know uh, give more brightness to it illumination over here so first we need to work with the lights let's just select this lights and push it over here let's duplicate it and I'll just instance it for now all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial